Hi there, Noel Garner here from Cambridge Art Academy. Let's say if you want to dry uh, a watercolour quickly. Well, there are some sensible ways of doing this, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. There's also some stupid ways of doing it. I'm going to show you the stupid way first. And this is not... I've got to say this, I don't recommend that you do this. Uh, and if you do, you do it entirely on your own head, be it. What you do is you pour over methylated spirits. This is um, uh, what in the UK we call methylated spirits. I don't know what it's called elsewhere. I don't even know what colour it is elsewhere. Uh, there it is a bit closer, but I can tell you what it is. It is ethanol solution and it contains methanol 10 to 15 percent. This is not gasoline, this is not turpentine, this is not white spirit, this is... Do I need to go on? This is this alone. So what do you do? What do you do? You... You get your watercolour. You can see I'm not exactly using some, you know, precious production here. You drain it off, like this. And then you pour your methylated spirits on it. By the way, I should say, it's a funny thing about methylated spirits, you can pour it on your finger and light your finger. And um, don't do this. Um, but your finger, well, well, it will burn, actually, if you leave it on for too long. But it's not a very hot flame, I'll just show you. Ooh, you can see that, but it was burning. Anyway, do that for more than about a second or two, and you'll have a burnt finger. But it's not going to explode or anything like that. Alright, so, here I have my watercolour, which I want to dry quickly. And then... Gonna set fire to it like that, and you would think that it would burn the paper, wouldn't you? But it doesn't. If I hold it up a little bit. It's burning quite nicely, but it's drying off the water in the watercolour. Watercolour is beginning to burn now, so when it's dry, so I'll just blow it out. It's very easy to blow it out, and well, I won't say it's completely dry, but um, it's not bad. So that was a silly way of drying a watercolour. Now the more sensible way. 